Hey guys, welcome back to more Dragon Guard. This is more post commentary. Um, and this is the final boss of uh, Mana. So, um, it took me, I want to say, another six or seven tries to get through it. Like, she was kicking my butt. Um, the best hit that I can give you guys would be to fly at her just using your normal um, fireballs. So just the pressing square and uh, you will damage her more than if you were to try and do multi-missile uh, attack. And you will end up building up a uh, special meter and I always use that in the third form where she's down to like six health bars so Does the, child the boss the fight did, doesn't take that long Maybe like took me four four minutes five minutes each try that we did it um and what i had learned is after the first after last video is i literally just while laying in bed like oh that can be how i do things where i would fly hit mana once or twice, and then occasionally I'd fly away, but if I could get through, like I just had that gigantic opening, I'd just keep flying right at her. And just keep uh, spilling fireballs into her, that way it hurts her. But uh, a lot of what you can end up doing is um, you can fly to the edge of the map, because the rings will not hit you when you're at the edge. So like, they won't hit you while you're all the way out here. And then you can just, like, fly in, launch one or two fireballs, and once they hit, just tap both L1 and R1 and do the 180-degree turn, and then just fly out. And, they, and the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the rings won't hit you now. But, like, I got very lucky there, because I had, like, a nice little just opening, so I got to go through again. And then she starts doing the crazy... Uh, We'll just send rings all over the place. So, I mean, we end up having uh, quite a bit of health here. Where we end up um, still having to fight her. And just look at that craziness that you have to fight through in order to even damage her. And she's down to, like, four health pips left. So I'm literally just sitting here. I think I was eating at the same time. <laughs> Uh, when I was recording this. So I'm just like, alright, I'll just sit here. I'll relax. I'll try and analyze while I eat food. And then I will try and fly in. And I mean, this is a strategy that works. Just sit out here. Um, and... Um, what am I thinking? Just sit out here and wait for a good opening. I'm like, yeah, I haven't, I haven't actually moved. So I'm pretty sure I was eating. And just trying to find an opening, because, like, look at that. They're just... No matter what ends up happening, there's one ring minimum that ends up coming towards uh, towards you. Now, I had a nice opening there that I should have taken, but... And for some reason, I decided to do the long term instead of just the direct 180 degrees. And, like, we get very lucky that we only hit one ring there. And then I tried doing some dodge attacks, didn't really work, and we're, we're like one hit away from that. So I decided to launch the super attack and then fly out. And then I have like an opening, so I'm like, alright, we'll just turn around, fly back in, do a dodge uh, move to keep going. There was, there was a uh, boss fight where I killed her at the same time she killed me, and it caused the game over. And I'm like, no! That's creepy. <laughs> and that boss fight took us 4 minutes and 12 seconds to do. Not enough experience for another dragon level up, but this does give us a uh, ending that we were looking for. And this is, this is the normal ending, it's going to be the first ending that you will get in the game. Stupid, all of you, fleeing the resurrection. The gods 
gods are watching. It is their last judgment. We will be transformed. We fear nothing. We are love. You hate me, don't you? Kill me if you want. Come on, warrior. Kill me. Kill me. Don't hold back. Whoppity wop. Kill little mana. I don't mind. I am loved. I am loved, you know. See? Mother has to love me. The gods love me. The kid's creepy. <laughs> Find a new goddess at once. Another sacrifice to the seal. I am no priest. I am an executioner. Kaim, I am tired again. Warm me as you did before. I like how us touching the dragon warms her up. Shall be the seal. No human can match my strength. But do you know what you offer? You had best do it before I change my mind. So the dragon who hates humans and doesn't really like the world is offering to be the seal for the world. Uh, epilogue. It's all over. Awaken from the spell of the gods. Mana pleads with Kayam and Verdele for death, but she coldly they coldly push her away. As Verdele wanders, uh, wonders who shall become the first seal, the dragon speaks, I shall be the sealed. Verdele, Kayam, uh, stare back in surprise, and I couldn't finish the rest of that. <laughs> but it's there. You can read it. Who?
and Angelus the Dragon thus becomes the shield. It's interesting that Kaim is so upset that the dragon is becoming the seal. Ye gods, is it your will that we should live on? Because, I mean, it's been th played throughout the story, at least to my memory, it's been played that Kaim just hates dragons. It, he even doesn't really like the one that he packs with. He's just packed with her to survive and keep himself living. Um, but no, that there is one of the endings, is um, Angelus becoming the seal and um, you no longer have a dragon. Now when you, because you, you get to continue the story after this. Uh, there are a couple extra chapters that you can play. Uh, there's a couple characters that you get to unlock. Uh, I've been working um, through that. I've unlocked one of them. Now I'm looking as, because uh, the game tells you exactly how to unlock them. So I'm still playing the story and the chapters all blind. Uh, the only thing that currently I'm looking up at all is weapons that are in story missions um, and how exactly to unlock them. And we will need all the weapons if we want to get the last end. Um, so, I think I've recorded up to video 56 right now. Still haven't gotten the second or the third ending. Um, but we will hopefully be able to get those. So... This LP is still going to go on. We're still going to have uh, videos for it. Because uh, I, I kind of want to show what the under, other endings are. Especially since I don't know what they are. Like, I know how to unlock them. Like, I have a list as to ending 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Here's how you unlock them. Uh, but I don't know what they entail. I, I'm keeping myself uh, blind on that part. I don't want to know, like what the story is going to have but just knowing as to how to unlock them i think will definitely help the lp um because then we won't be running around in a level for 40 minutes killing everything just to think that might unlock an ending so it'll definitely help speed up the um some of the levels uh especially since going forward, any level that I do, I will be seeing if there's any uh, weapons that need to be unlocked. And if there aren't any weapons that need to be unlocked, uh, more than likely what's going to end up happening is I will just go for the targets and, you know, kill any enemies that are in my way. But I won't make an effort to go around killing every single thing, um, which will definitely help speed it up. Because I know that there were a couple of verses during the course of the story where... Uh, I spent two or three videos on because I was killing every enemy and wanted to kill every enemy just to see what, happened, what would happen. So, thankfully, I don't need to kill every enemy in a level. Uh, at least from what I've seen in order to unlock a weapon. Um, I think for the first playthrough, chapters 1 through 8, we unlocked, um, I want to say... And weapons, maybe? If that, it might be a little bit more. Uh, I know we're only like 14% through the weapons or something. 14 or 16% through the weapons when we finish the, uh, when we, when we beat this boss fight. Um, and there are a total of 65 weapons, 64 of which you need to go out and find. So, we still have quite a long way. I've picked up a few in the videos that I've already recorded which is nice, um, but we still have quite a bit. As Krakenguard had ended up saying, the exhibitions do end up giving weapons. So there are a few of those that we will end up having to show off. I'm not going to show off every single one because, honestly, though, like the expeditions, from my understanding, just seem to be useful for weapon grinding, to level up the weapons and things like that. But, um... We will end up showing the ones that will end up having weapons in them, and we'll show how to unlock them, and things like that. That way, we can show uh, the every collection of a weapon 
as well as the final ending. This was made by uh, Square Enix, people who do the Final Fantasy games and all that, which it's pretty fun. I do have to say that having played through uh, the first eight chapters, I'm still having a lot of fun. It's gotten a lot better from when it was at the beginning, like it was very tedious, but uh, I still On enjoy sacrifices it. On countless, will a new shrine be built by the hands of the gods? Four endings remaining, and we will hopefully unlock all four endings. So, when we come back, more Drakengard. Thanks, everyone.